Hi, thank you for joining my program, Native American Foods. My name is Vida, and I'm the librarian from the Hollyhock Library Branch in Surprise, Arizona. November is Native American Heritage Month, and this program we will explore some of the traditional and contemporary Native American foods and recipes. I will provide a brief history of Native American foods before contact and common recipes across tribal nation. I will also provide some recommended resources along the way. Before the European and Spanish arrival, the Native American diet consists of vegetable, berries, green, wild rice, and games of the tribe's regional area. Each regional area will have a different set of food. Meals were planned by the seasons, and during winter months, many tribes had their own food hydration process for fruits, plants, and meats to last them throughout the winter. Food is an integral part of tribal lifeways and is the center of tribal culture. The most common food among all tribe is corn, squash, and beans, also known as the Three Sisters. The Three Sister has been the center of Native American agriculture and in cultural practices for century. The Three Sister acts as a support system to each food crop in assisting with its growth during the planting season. The corn's tall stalks provide support for beans to grow and beans provide nitrogen to the crops and to fertilize the soil. The vines of the beans help stabilize the corn from falling over during windy times. The leaves of the squash provide a deterrent of weeds and help retain moisture to the soil. The Three Sister also provides the necessary nutrition that is relevant today. Corn has a good amount of carbohydrates, Protein is evident in beans, and squash provides the mineral and vitamins that is lacking from beans and corn. It is customary to plant all three together in Native American agriculture. The planting of the three sister varies among tribe. Various tribes does an intercropping of planting. For example, corn is planted in the center, followed by beans surrounding the corn, and with the squash bordering the beans and corn. Several tribes plant separate garden for each crop. However, it must be planted in close proximity to each other. Many tribes may plant its crop through an interlaying method of corn and beans with squash bordering the garden. One well-known regional food and is a favorite dish among Thanksgiving dinner is the wild rice. Wild rice is native to North America and is grown in the Great Lakes region of the United States and Canada. Wild rice has been used in side, main, and dessert dishes. Here is a wild rice recipe used as stuffed bell peppers. This recipe can be found in the Red Lakes Nation food website. Feel free to pause the video to get the link and also to copy the recipe. Many tribes has its own cultural stories regarding the three sisters on how the support system was established, including the role each crop has within its tribal ceremonial purpose. The three sister is a symbol of nutrition for health and wellness, including the strong con cultural connection to the land to the people. Many tribes have many cultural significance to their agricultural practices, such as songs for planting and gathering of foods. Some of these practices also include food preservation for the next planting season and also properly disposing of waste. In this documentary film, Cree Hunters of Mitticini follows a Cree family of James Bay of North, Northern Quebec. The family's continuation of cultural hunting practices provides some insight of their Cree heritage and including their regional food and hunting practices. This movie was recorded in 1973 and can be found in our Canopy digital resource. Stew is a favorite meal among many Native American communities. Traditional recipes involving the Three Sisters vary among tribes. This Three Sister stew recipe is a slightly modern version of and can be found by and can be made by gathering items from your local grocery store. Again, feel free to pause the video to write down the recipe. 
This recipe is also courtesy of the Chickasaw Nation website. For a more contemporary recipe, this Three Sisters Mash comes from the book The Sioux Chef's Indigenous Kitchen by Sean Sherman with Beth Dooley. It is also one of my book recommendation. Chef Sean Sherman is an Ogallala Lakota from Pine Ridge, South Dakota. Sherman has dedicated his culinary career to revitalize the traditional practices of his Native American culture, and agri including the agricultural practice and bringing awareness and advocacy to his community. Also encouraging to return to their traditional food system for health and wellness. This book is a collection of traditional Native American foods with a contemporary twist. This book can be found in our MCLD catalog. The call number is Cooking Regional. The historical relocation of Native Americans created a huge shift in Native American food system, which has led to an increase of poor health conditions among Native American communities today. During the relocation period, majority of Native Americans were placed within military fort posts. It was at these locations where Native Americans were introduced to processed foods, such as flour, sugar, salt, coffee, bread, so on. The U.S. government ration system provided these food items to Native Americans, and many Native Americans were forbidden to hunt and farm at these military posts, which led to their independence on these items to survive. These government food rations led to the creation of the Phi Bread. When people think or talk about Native American foods, the first thing they think of is Phi Bread. Phi Bread is a well-known culinary favorite food item and it is not a traditional food. Phi Bread has become a symbol of resilience for Native American and has been incorporated into our cul culinary cuisine. There are many variations of Phi Bread recipes among tribe. The two shown here are recipes from two different regions. The first recipe is from the Southwest tribe, the Diné tribe, also known as Navajo. And the second one is from the Northern region, uh, the Bannock Phi Bread. Again, feel free to pause the video to copy down the recipe. Like Chef Sean Sherman, many Native American chefs are revisiting and revitalizing traditional farming and food practices, and also including healthier dishes for their community with the integration of traditional foods. For example, books like Foods of the Southwest Indian Nation, Traditional Contemporary Native American Recipe by Louise Ellen Frank. This title can be found in our Overdrive Digital Resources Chapters are sectioned off in corn, vine growing vegetable, wild fruits, greens, beans, game, birds, meats, fish, and bread. Another title is Modern Native Feast Healthy Innovative Sustainable Cuisine by Andrew George. Andrew provides many contemporary recipes of many tribal nations. This book can also be found in our Overdrive digital resource. Another title comes from Shane Chartran. Chartran was born to Cree parents and raised by, the, by a Matisse father and Mi'kmaq Irish mother. Shane has spent the past 10 years learning about his history, visiting with other First Nation people, gathering and sharing knowledge and stories. Along the way, creating dishes that combine his diverse interests and express his unique personality. This, this book is also found in our Overdrive digital resource. Many communities are leading the way for their community and redirecting their focus by returning to the Native American traditional food system. This documentary, Return Native American Women Reclaim Food Ways for Health and Spirit, follows several women from different tribal nations on how they are helping their community to return to their traditional food system and methodology. This film can be viewed through our Canopy MCLD digital resource. Lastly, the book Food Sovereignty, the Navajo Way, Cooking with Tall Women by Charlotte J. Frisbee focuses on the Diné traditional food. This book also can, some of 
are recipes still used today. This book is available through our MCLD catalog and the call number is Cooking Healthy. This concludes my presentation. Thank you for joining me. For more information on Native American food recipes or general food cookbooks, please visit the cooking section at your local Maricopa Branch Library. Happy eating and have a wonderful day.